Hi everybody, it's day 21 in our Thighs Glutes and Abs Challenge. This is the last day in this challenge and as I promised yesterday, today we want to go for some toning exercises combined with some yoga stretching routine and relaxing routine. So we want to work a little bit on our flex flexibility but still toning our entire body. So let's see how we're going to proceed through this workout here. We don't need any equipment, we don't even need shoes. If you want to wear shoes, you can go ahead and wear them, but I would just want to feel the floor underneath my feet. So we would need a mat for exercises that we're going to do on the floor. So let's just start here and give me a soft warm up with just tapping your toes, using your quads and your glutes already here. Nothing that we did usually when we started with the step tap, we're just tapping from side to side. Engaging our muscles, engaging our thighs and glutes. Just tap and tap. Now I want you to tap and slide your foot in and lift up to the front. Tap, slide in and lift up. Tap, slide in and lift up. We just want to warm up a little bit. Now I want you to circle front and back, keeping your core tight, sink into your knee of the opposite leg a little bit. Give me one more, one circle back and circle to the front and step. And now we want to do that on the other side. Slide in and lift. Tap out, slide in and lift. Tap out, slide in and lift. Very easy going moves here. Now, float that foot front and back circle. Sink into your knee of the opposite leg. Push your hips back. Press your shoulders away from your ears. Keep your abs tight. Suck your navel in. Give me two more circles. This is the last one. Okay. Come into a lunge position. I want you to touch your palm to the floor. Give me a runner's lunge stretch. And hold that position. Tap in and reach your leg up. We don't need to come into a moon pose yet. I just want you to stretch here your glute, your hamstring. Tap your foot, feet close together and I want you to wrap into your legs, grab your ankles, keep your knees soft when you wrap in. Now touch your palms to the floor, come up, look up with a flat back, release your hands from your shins and now roll up one little way time, shoulders coming up last, nice, come to a lunge on the other side. Touch your palm to the floor, runner's lunge stretch. Great, now raise that back leg up. Now stretch your hamstring. Beautiful. Tap your feet close together, grab your ankles and roll yourself into your legs. Release. Now, press your palms onto your shins and look up with a flat back, suck your navel in. Release. Touch your palms down. And roll up one vertebrae time. Your navel is in, shoulders coming up last. 
nice. I want you to step wide, angle your left foot to the side, come into your warrior two position. Strong arms, spread them out to the side, sink into your front knee, knees striking right over your ankle, press your shoulders down. And now, pulse. Straighten your leg and sink into your knee. Pulse. Slowly pulse. We've done this before in some yoga exercises that you've done with me, if you've done with me yoga. I'm not very good at it. So hold that warrior two position here and give me a forward stretch. Strong arms again. Rotate to the side into a lunge. Arms up to the ceiling, lower down with your back knee. Come up. And one more time. Come on. Arms strong to the side. When you lift up, lower down, arms up. Last one. Now come with both palms next to your foot, step in and hold. Both heels are pressing on the floor. Push your hips back into the back leg and feel the stretch here in your hamstring or the front leg. Great, now roll up one way every time. Your navel is really strong into your spine. <coughs> Sorry. Wide stands one more time on the other side now. Angle your right foot now to the side and sink into your knee. Arms strong, spread to the side. Come up and pulse. Sink down into your knee. Use your inner thighs, use your glutes, use your buns, press up through your heel. Your core is tight, your navel is in, your shoulders are down. Give me one more. Now give me a forward stretch. Okay. Come back into a warrior two position. Now, come into a lunge. Spread your arms to the side. Get low. Up. Low, arms overhead. Touching, get up, low, and up, straight legs when you're up. And your arms are spread to the side and your shoulders are down. Come on. Give me one more here. Nice. Touch your hands to the floor, step in. Both heels are on the floor. Press your hips, push them back into your back leg as far as you can so that you're feeling that hamstring stretch. Good, release, come up. Now I want you to have your feet close together I'm going to turn to the side so you can see what I'm doing. Now I want you to get low into a narrow squat and lift your arms up into a chair pose. Come up slowly, press up through your heel, squeeze your buns, and do it again. We're not going for tempo, we're going for perfect control of our body. Making it flexible, making it strong. Inhale, exhale. Sit back, push your hips back, your knees are trekking over your ankle or not passing your toes. Now hold that position here and I want you to tap out to the side. Tap 
now to the other side. I'm going to turn to the front so you see. Tap your toe to the side, squeeze your buns. Sit back, sit deep. Give me one more on the left and one more on the right. Now I want you to lift your leg up, side to side. Point through your toes. Point through your toes, lift it up. Use your outer thigh here. Alternating sides. I don't want you to go quick, you go slow. And really use your muscle to drive that leg up, 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 up. Give me one more to the left, one more to the right. Beautiful. Feeling the warmth coming through your body. I want you to come into a squat position. I want you to squat down. Now I want you to slide your heel in and lift your leg up. Okay? Squat, slide, heel in. You really slide it. Pull it over the floor and then you lift it up to the side. Try not to sink into the side like if this you were kickboxing or something. We're not kickboxing here. We're doing Pilates. Slide in and lift it up. Try to keep your upper body as straight as you can. Squat down. You can even squat down and touch your palms to your thighs. And hold. Push your hips back. Sit back deep. Slide in. And lift that leg up to the side. I want you to really slide that, heat, that foot slowly in so that you're using your inner thigh. Okay. Give me two more here. Last one. Let's do that on the other side. Squat, slide, heel, heel in. Hmm. And lift that leg up. Lift that leg up. Use that muscle. Two more squat down and leg lift. We're not kicking, we're really lifting that leg with our muscle. You're having your core strong to support you so that you don't shift your body weight into that side, okay? Slide it in, go controlled, and go easy. We're not looking for tempo here and higher repetitions. We just want to work our way through this here and feel stronger, feel flexible, 
using our muscle. Give me one more, one last time. Beautiful, I'm already feeling my glutes. Now once you come into plank position, we want to start building up into knee plank, all right. So first thing that we're going to do, we want to sit back into child's pose. So open your, your legs, your knees, and sit into your child's pose and stretch. Now, come back up <coughs> into that knee plank. Now I want you to tap your leg back, the back leg back. Now tap your front leg back so that you're in a plank position. Beautiful, all right. What I want you to do is I want you just to touch your elbows with your palm. You don't have to go quick even on this one, but I want you to have your core tight. Try not to shift your hips back and forth. Keep your feet hip distance apart. And I want you to suck your navel into your spine. Your wrists are right underneath your shoulder. And when you touch that palm down, I want you to have your fingers spread wide. Squeeze your palms. Abs are really, really strong. Neck is neutral, don't strain your neck. So don't look up or don't look down. Have it neutral. Give me a couple more. Last one. Come to child's pose. And relax. Your arms a little bit here. So come back into plank, full plank. It's not that we're not gonna work. So wrists are right underneath your shoulders. Now, once you pike your hips up, touch your hand to your toe and alternate sides. Get as close to your foot if you can, as you can. Pike your hips up. Abs are tight. Give me one more. Now come back into child's pose. And relax your shoulders and your arms. Whew. Beautiful. How you doing? Breathe. That was a great core exercise. And we worked our upper body as well with that holding our body weight onto our shoulders. That's really great. So what I want you to do now, I want you to come to a side plank position. So have your knee on, on the mat, okay? Your wrist is right underneath your shoulder. So I want you to have your palm behind your head. I want you to touch your elbow down. All right, so touch it down. If you want, lift up your front, your upper leg, and just twist, twist. Twist that torso. Core, core, core. Keeping that leg up is another optional challenge. If you don't want to do that, just come here and drop the foot on the floor, otherwise lift it up. You will soon feel your buns on the other leg. Give me two more. Last one. 
Beautiful. Let's do that on the other side. This is not a new exercise. We've done this before. Okay, palm on your head. And I want you to have your wrist right underneath your shoulder. Lift that leg up if you can. Up if you can. Otherwise, keep it down. And now just twist your shoulder, your elbow down. We don't need to touch our elbow down. Just twist through your waistline. Four more. Exhale, I'm gonna twist. Two more. Last one. Nice. Come into child's pose. And give your back and your hips a little relaxation. Give them a break. Now I want you to come into a plank position one more time. And I want you to lower your elbows down back. Come down with your chest and press up into a cobra or lift your feet up into an up dog. Now press yourself up into a down dog. Adjust your feet, pack your hips up. Navel is in, your ears are right next to your biceps. Press your heels as low as you can, close to the floor. Lift your back leg up. Twist and open up your hip. Now turn that knee in and come into a pigeon pose. Your back hip is up, it's not touching the floor. If you can, come down on your elbows. Turn to the other side, and let's do that here on this side. So, come down, chaturanga, or up dog. Now press up into down dog. Lift your other leg up. Lift it up strong. Now open it up. And open your hip. Now bring your knee in and bring your leg into me. Pigeon pose. Your back hip is not touching the floor. Beautiful. Now, I want you to come back into child's pose one more time. Beautiful. Come up. Roll up one little at a time. Nice. 
Let's come back into a knee plank position. I'm going to turn to the other side. What we want to do now, I want you to have your back elbow on the floor. Okay, so now I want you to tap your toe of your other, of your front leg back. Okay, you're, you're tapping your toe back like this. Now I want you to lift your leg up and I want you to draw a circle, a half moon, up and over. Draw a big circle. Lift it up high, get low. It's a great exercise. You're really transforming your glutes from all sides here with this exercise. Hello, Sina. Give me four more. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Nice. Let's do that on the other side with the other leg. So anyone wants to exercise too. <laughs> Not really. She's just looking how she's going to go through that parvon here into the kitchen, even though she can just take the other way. But she's always taking the other way, but never mind. Cats. <laughs> having their own mind. So lift it up, lift your leg up, okay? Now circle it over out to the side, right? And then circle it up and over back. And reverse. Make that circle big, straight leg up and over, point through your toes, core is tight. Three more, two, last one. Great. I want you to come into seated position, give me a mermaid here. I just want you to hold that position and I want you to stretch over. Okay. Change legs, let's do this on the other side. Stretch over. Now once you come on your back, roll down one vertebrae at a time. Your palms are pointing towards the ceiling. I want you to have your legs up into tabletop position. Okay? Now I want you to lift one leg up so you're here. Scissor legs while you're having your palms up towards the ceiling. Lift it off the floor. Your shoulders are off the floor. Your chin is on your chest. Now hold tabletop legs. Now go back and forward. Back. Drop your shoulders down and up. When you're coming up with your legs, with your, with your arms, I want you to lift your shoulders up. Crunch. Give 
me one more. Exhale. Now press your knees into your chest. Give yourself your, your abs a little break. And now roll up. Nice. So what we want to do now, we want to come back into a knee plank position and we want to do a little stretching and toning. Give me a bird dog. Crunch in, round your back, and lengthen. Straight leg, straight line, torso, leg and arm. Shoulders are away from your ears. Knee is tracking over your toe, oh, behind your, no. Knee is right underneath your hip, and your wrist is right underneath your shoulder. Exhale when you're crunching and round your back. Inhale up. Hold it here and now I want you to turn or twist out to the side. To the diagonal. Leg and arm into the opposite direction. Last one. Beautiful. I don't know about you, but I'm sweating. Of course we're working it here. What did you think? Just relaxing? We're not gonna burn calories and tone or transform our body without doing anything but a little bit. We're just doing a little bit. Just as much as we need to. Okay, knees right underneath your hips and your wrists right underneath your shoulders. So lift up the opposite arm and the opposite leg, front, uh, front leg and back arm. So now crunch in around your back, touch your elbow to your knee and lengthen more. Straight line, arm, torso, hip and leg. Round and stretch. Lengthen through your fingertips and your toes. Uh, come up from your hip and your shoulder. Last one. Now, open it up to the side. Still pointing through your toes and you're reaching length and through your fingertips. Two more. Last one. Nice, come to child's pose and stretch. Release your shoulders, your arms. Breathe into your lower back. Nice. Whew, stay in that knee plank position. I want you just to reach your leg up. Up, tap, up, tap, up, tap. Now, tap out, cross over your supporting leg and lift that leg up to the diagonal, opposite side. So basically it's a diagonal leg lift. You're tapping out here, crossing over your supporting leg and lifting up in a diagonal line. Four more. Last two. Last one. 
of course we want to do that on the other side. Tap it here. Lift. A couple, couple of lifts here just to get used to it. The tap and lift. Now tap, crossing over and lift. Sink a little bit into your elbows, all right? So that you can make or draw a wonderful straight line as high as you can. Your core is tight, supporting you here. And balance out, because I don't want you to shift your body weight into the other side when you lift that leg up. Last one, nice. I want you to come into, on a knee elbow plank. Now I want you to tap your toes back. So you here, all right. Nice, now I want you to lift your hips up and dip your hips to the side. Lift them up and dip to the side. Try to touch your hip as low as you can to the floor. Last two, last one. Woo. Come on to child's pose. Give yourself a quick break. Breathe into your lower back. To be honest, I love these moves. I'm sweating. Come on your back. Ooh. Reach your arms up and overhead. Now, I want you to lift up like this, just as we did before. Crunch. If you want, lift your feet off the floor, keep them in a triangle or tabletop position. If you want even further challenge, lift them up diagonally or straight up. Press your lower back into the mat when you're coming up. Give me one more. Pull your knees into your chest and roll up. We want to come back into that elbow plank position. And I want you just to hike your hips up and come back down. Pike them up, come back down. a break. Beautiful. So how are you doing so far? 
I hope you're doing wonderful. So I want you to come into a seated position on the side. Okay, so you're leaning on your, on your elbow, okay? So a simple move now, okay? Lift it up like this. And now I want you just to touch your palm or your hand up to your ankle. So make it as high as you can, that leg lift, so that you're feeling your obliques, your inner and outer thighs. Give me four more. Two more. Last one. We want to change sides. And then we're going to work a little bit on our flexibility and stretching. And then let's see where we're getting here. Okay, leaning on your elbow. Beautiful. Legs are straight out to the back. So starting with a leg lift, like this. If you need to cushion your hip here, take a pillow and press it or put it under your hip. I'm gonna do that on this side because it really puts pressure on my hip, on that bone. So you're here, okay? Wrist, your elbow is right underneath your shoulder and your legs are straight out to the side. So go, lift it up, up, point through your toes, L straight leg lift, okay? Now, stretch that arm overhead. Now touch over to your ankle. You're really crunching it up a little bit here into with use your obliques. Great, give me two more. Give me the last one here. Very nice. Great, now I want you to come into a knee plank position again. And we want to stretch our hip and our shoulder. So your knees are right underneath your hip. Your wrists are right underneath your shoulders. Tap your front leg back. We've done this many, many times here in my workouts. So reach your upper back arm up to the ceiling, follow with your eyes. Now thread under your torso and up again. This is so good for your back, for your hips, for your abs. you to give me one more and now we're dropping that shoulder on the floor give your back and your shoulders a wonderful stretch reaching all over here and over your hips Knee plank, knees are right underneath your hips, wrists are right underneath your shoulders. Tap your front, your other leg back now. <coughs> other arm is reaching up to the ceiling and follow with your eyes. And now spread that arm under strong. Crunch your abs and your obliques.
We're having one more, and then we're dropping our shoulder on the mat. Release. 
more time, I want you to come into warrior two position. You're here. Now I want you to reach down into your ankle and come into a triangle pose. <coughs> Sorry. Challenge. You've completed this challenge. Congratulations. I'm so proud that you've stuck with me to the end. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want and you really want to challenge yourself, just repeat that challenge one more time for the 21 days and you're going for the 42 days, like I initially said in the introduction. Without wanting to give away too much, I can tell you that I am planning and working on a new challenge already, um, which is for the pre- um, holiday season. So subscribe to my YouTube channel so that we can stay updated on our activities here and uploads on new workouts or challenges. Leave me your comments on what you think and how challenged you've been with this challenge that we just completed or leave me any, any of your requests for what you want to see in a new challenge, in my new challenge, the Advent Challenge. So hope to see you again very soon. Take care and have a wonderful rest of your day and see you soon. Bye-bye.